Use the Evelino Lab uh, genetic test in my practice for probably, I have to think, maybe six years or longer. Um, before that, uh, we're doing genetic testing in my laboratory. We have a research laboratory at the Steiner Institute in which we do molecular genetic testing, but since it's not CLIA certified, the results can't be used in clinical decision making. So it's nice, actually invaluable, to have a commercially available genetic test that can give you the results quickly give you a definitive answer regarding whether the patient you see in your practice has a TGF bit eye dystrophy or not. Many clinicians, I think, feel that they can make that diagnosis without the use or the need for genetic testing. I'd say yes, many cases you can if there's a family history, classic appearance uh, at the slit lamp, etc. But I've seen a lot of patients who come in who have what looks like a TGF beta eye dystrophy, but there is no family history or the, the onset is late. They don't have the typical features like recurrent corneal erosions or the distribution of the opacities is unusual. In those cases, I think it is incumbent on the practitioner, the ophthalmologist or optometrist, to do genetic testing because there are a lot of things that can mimic a dystrophy that you need to diagnose, the most ominous of which is paraproteinemic keratopathy, sometimes individual case reports, sometimes series, of patients who have corneal opacities diagnosed initially as a dystrophy but later found to be due to a you know, myeloproliferative process. And you'd obviously want to make that diagnosis accurately and quickly. And Evelino Labs testing allows you to do that. It's been very useful as far as differentiating between dystrophic and degenerative, dystrophic and post-infectious scarring, and dystrophic and something that may be more sinister, i.e. the myeloproliferative process.